live at five. It is Monday, April the 18th, and we have a very special guest today. Yes, Ms. Morgan Reed from American, American Psycho. Psycho. Yes. So good. She's so glamorous. That whole cast is glamorous, actually. They're hot. They are to die for. Let's get just, it? Just get they're it. Hot. Get it? They're, you you know, can call them glamorous if you yeah. want to, but they're hot. They are hot. Hi, everybody. They are hot. Welcome. Hello. Welcome. Right. Have you all been uh, listening to, to the Pillar of Surprises today? Um, In a shocking surprise win. It was a surprise. Took Hamilton us. took the Pulitzer Prize for drama. Couldn't have predicted that. I no mean, that knows. just came out. I mean, you know, who knew? But actually, can I say, I'm really excited for the finalists. Yeah. Gloria by Brandon Jacobs Jenkins and The Humans by Stephen Kim, which were both amazing plays. So, And The yay Humans for them are still also. on Broadway, so if you can't get a ticket to Hamilton, which is basically everybody, just go watch The Humans. It's a really different experience, but True. they're both <laughs> amazing nights at the theater. No, they are. So, they're yeah. well done. So, I, I think. Good, good. Look at all the hearts for that. See that? All the hearts. Oh, a oh, musical yeah. freak eight got a ticket to Hamilton. So, well, good for That's you. That's amazing. Yeah. What else is going on? All right. Um, so, Kelly O'Hara, it was her final weekend. In and it was her I. birthday. And it was her birthday. And she did a culturalist, did she not? Well, she was in the culture She did. Well, we ranked the Kelly O'Hara, or O'Hara if you're British, um, uh-huh. roles, and the number one slot went to the king and i went to anna and the king and i which also unsurprisingly had a very good week at the grocers so if you catch up on your broadway very everybody wanted to see kelly in her last in her final week uh building broadway this was interesting it was featuring talk everlasting Mm -hmm. chris miller and nathan tyson the songwriters of talk everlasting talk about that show it's really beautiful and they play and they sing i haven't seen it yet have you i of course i go on saturday i've got i've I've seen the show yes i've seen the billy broadway i've seen both okay i've I've got four four i've got four shows to see this week it's a busy time. It's April. It's, you know, April's it's April. the coolest month for people who work in the theatre. Or uh, the best month. Depends how you look at it. Or just the one where you're most tired. Minute. We do. Uh, Janet then... McTeer, Tony winner. Yeah. Janet McTeer won a Tony for A Doll's House several years ago. He's coming to Broadway in, go ahead with your French. In La Liaison Dangerose. La Liaison Dangerose. Okay. okay. Well, whatever. With Leah Schreiber, who is also a Tony winner for Glengarry Glen Ross. But can we just point out, Periscope, is that we knew this on Friday, because actually I spoke to Christopher Hampton, who wrote it on Thursday night, and he, he told me it was coming back to Broadway. Day. No, oh. he told me it was coming back to Broadway, so he wrote the piece on Friday that it was coming back to Broadway, several days before the official announcement. Nevertheless, we're excited. We are very excited. It's one of my favorites. It's so good. Um, but they didn't, because not Dominic West, who's in the affair. It was the Don Mar production. He right? played um, the naughty guy Belmont in Lon- in London, but he's not going to be doing. Let's not call him Belmont anymore. Let's call him the naughty you guy. You know what I mean, the naughty guy, the John mm-hmm. Markovich character, mm-hmm. very sexy character. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, Oz and Ends was an interesting state. So Ginny Weasley and Draco Malfoy are going to be in Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Okay, I don't know anything about Harry Potter, but I love the way you say those names. Okay, basically, some important characters are going to be in Harry Potter and the Cursed Child in London, which is set 19 years after the books. Because of a, a an image yeah. of magic wands? Yes. Offered clues. Yeah, that from J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling. We love that. Uh, Jesse, cool. isn't that cool? Jesse Mueller was nominated for an Elliot Norton Award, and they're like the Boston Theatre Critics Award. That's right, they? that's right. And they're going to be announced on May 23rd. Also, Natasha Pierre was nominated. Yep. Which is coming That's coming year. in. A lot of really good new musicals coming in mm-hmm. next year. Hamilton sort of met. We got obviously American Psycho this year and School of Rock and others. Mm-hmm. But Hamilton sort of messed up. We got loads of new musicals Hamilton coming in. Hamilton, you're messing year. it up. Yeah. Musicals just weren't coming in as much this year. Um, mm. Right, hot shots. Talk to me about hot shots, Beth. Well, there are a lot of hot shots. Mm. There are a lot of really cool pictures that we, we rounded up and put together. My favorite is of the sleeping Skylar sisters. I mean, they're so cute. So cute. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's about it. Also, Adina Menzel. Oh, yeah. I, I could I, forget Adina Menzel. I can't forget Adina Menzel. She went to go see Dear Evan Hansen, and she's like, oh, with Ben Platt, which is what you want to do to Ben Platt, so it makes sense. I'm Ooh. seeing that next week. I've got to get through the Broadway shows first. I love that whatever show about, then we can find out your schedule so you know where to find. Well, no, it's where you're going to find Adina and Ben, aren't they a good couple? Yeah. So that was very cute. And, of course, okay. directed by Michael Greff, who directed Adina and a couple. So there favorite. you go. It's anyway, gorgeous. enough of all this. We're going to bring in the hot, 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 hot Morgan, Morgan Reed. Reed. Oh, yeah. See you guys soon. Goodbye, Beth. Bye. Hang on. <laughs> I did it right. <laughs> Sit down. Look at this glamorous girl. Oh, you're so nice. You're so, so glamorous. Thursday night, you open. We open. Have you, are you off tonight? No. You've got a show tonight. tonight. Show tomorrow night. Okay. We have yeah. Wednesday off. Have then. you got your outfit picked out yet? I do. I'm very lucky. I have a dear friend okay. who is also an incredible actress um, who is making me 
an original piece for opening Is it going night. to be 1980s inspired? It is. Because for those who don't know, let's sort of set the world up, American Psycho. Sure. Set in the 1980s. 1989, yeah. uh, end of the century, feels like. Or, and they... Um, and they are very 80s. I mean, our characters, we wear, we have wild hair and wild costumes, and my my opening night outfit speaks to that a little bit. It has yeah, a lot okay. of that sheen and that dark, wild Now, talk to me about your character, Courtney Lawrence, because mm-hmm. she's naughty. No, oh, isn't she's, that right? she's <laughs> naughty. She's very sexy. She's very naughty. Um, she likes to get into a little trouble. She likes to experiment with... Um, Drugs and alcohol. It's a it's a sexy show. It's a sexy show, and you have your sort of sexy moments with Ben Walker. I do, a, I do. You have a really Super tough, tough job. It's tough um, job. really something. Each night, I have to talk myself up just to yeah, get close deal with to him. That. No, it's incredible. Actually, people ask me all the time at the stage door. One girl asked me. She said, um, "What is it? What is it like to have Ben?" underneath you each night <laughs> and I thought it's like I don't and you're not wearing many clothes are no you? neither of us are we're both in very yeah, small white you know underwear now also I told you it's American Psycho though everybody thinks it's sort of lot, lots of blood and everything mm-hmm. it's sort of not it's sort of stylized isn't it's it about so you don't style. need to go and get no. scared you don't go to get scared you no. go there to there's a lot of suspense yeah. a lot of drama and intensity and Ben Walker's so incredible he's incredibly funny and also scary and um, and unpredictable, and I think that's what's cool about the show. You also sympathize with him, with him which is bizarre, you because do. there's this maniac That's a testament to Ben's yeah. um, uh, skill as an actor, and but th- the show is written s- so that you, it's weird, by the end, you really love Patrick Bateman, and you're thinking, why? Right, you're rooting for Patrick Bateman, yeah. and that score Makes you look inside. is like insanely catchy, I can't get the oh my songs God. out of my head. Uh, you so, can't, are they driving impossible. you nuts on some levels? I mean, I mean the Chanel make, number. I do feel like Chanel I'm number. forever in a fever dream of Duncan Sheik's music, <laughs> and it's a great it's a great place to be. Oh, the Chanel number, I mean, it just runs in your runs. head, and runs and runs and runs, you, you in guys, the best way. You guys have got to go and see the show, and the choreography on that, is wild and amazing. So, Lynn Page is, is brilliant and she works so closely with her after she builds that stuff on your body. So yeah. she finds what looks good on you and then makes it um, come and to life. And you're all hot. I mean, um, I think you are the hottest cast on Broadway. Sorry, Hamilton. I mean, but... there are a lot of hot people <laughs> on Broadway, but we are smoking hot. <laughs> now, there is, there is blood on stage, but don't be scared. I mean, as I say, it's sort of there artistic blood. blood. Yeah. Have there been any on-stage mishaps with all that sort of Red, red, what is it? Uh, is it? What is it? Is it ketchup? Is it's it, blood. It's blood. Yeah, it's blood. But what, it's something. It's a, it's a, it's a, a mixture of things, but it's um, machine washable. Okay. <laughs> but the, we have had a few mishaps <laughs> in so far as there, the blood packs are a bit unpredictable. And as we work <laughs> with them, as you learn many things in previews about your show, but you also learn um, what happens when you spray people in your audience or people that I, you don't mean to spray on stage. I, that was nowhere near any spray. And there's like a helpful screen that there's comes down. There's a screen that comes down that was, and all those things have been sorted, but we did, you know, have a few, um, blood cannon explosions. But do you end up with blood on your hands that you then have to get out? Well, we have fabulous team backstage who are have warm, wet towels to clean us at the end of the numbers. <laughs> Wipe our knees and our hands. It's very um, sweet. No, I love that. Um, do you have any dressing room rituals? Because you're very into yoga, I was reading. I am. I'm a yoga teacher, but I, I, my ritual, I mean, I'm in a communal dressing room, mm-hmm. so I get to be with all the ladies, which is a lot of fun. There's a lot of music, a lot so of chatter. So you bonded before the Chanel number. You just yeah, want to go see the show and see what I mean. You'll see it. It's, we work very amazing. closely together, but they, it, we all just, it's different every night. I don't think we have a routine yet. Right now, it's just getting ourselves really psyched up and um, chit-chatting about what we're what we're excited about you know everybody's talking about their opening night outfits or um what part of the show is particularly challenging or what they look for you know we just chit chat really just girl stuff this is your broadway debut it is yeah when did you know you wanted to be in theater was there a moment in school was there a teacher that helped you i mean a teacher i had two amazing teachers um well i had many amazing teachers but two that really that when i met in high school uh, I met them and, and they encouraged me to audition for the school play mm-hmm. and these two gentlemen, Jim Rutman and Ross Henley, and they um, just changed my life. I mean, they just brought me into this world and I did a few plays and musicals in high school, but it's once I went to, uh, once I got to Northwestern that I got serious about it and just fell madly in love and that's when I knew I didn't want to do anything else. My you know, days. Periscope wants to know what, what are your dream roles? My dream roles. Yeah. Well, the truth is I love new works. I love okay. new works, well, and this I'm musical. playing. I'm originating a, a role on Broadway. I don't 
think I ever dreamed bigger than that. So now I'm, I feel like I'm looking for new mountains to climb, but I think, I hope maybe my, my dream role is one that hasn't been written yet. Okay. Yeah. Thing. All right, because also you were Rizzo in Greece. I was. Away. That was a dream. That was one of those, you know, list those shows that you just have to do. And everybody wants to think I'm a Sandy because I've got that blonde yeah, hair, yeah. but no, I'm, you I'm a little too dark and did, weird. Did you watch the live, the Greece live? Yes, I loved Wasn't it. Wasn't it amazing? My first two shows in New York were uh, with Aaron DeBates. I did Next well, to Normal with him, and then did Saved at Playwrights. And Aaron has is such an amazing sweet and talented guy. I couldn't have been more thrilled to watch that. And has he been to American Psycho yet? He hasn't been yet. Where Aaron is he? Aaron Tveit, please, come on. <laughs> come on, Aaron. He's a, he's a big, he's a big, big fan. <laughs> yeah. The Who's psych, not the psych, a huge the psych fan? Loves Aaron Tveit. <laughs> Who doesn't? Would you want to do one of those live shows? Oh, yeah. It'd be so much what, fun. What, what, what would be your perfect... Oh, my gosh. One, is there is one? I don't know. I, I mean, Psycho might be a bit X-rated. American Psycho might be completely amazing to do live. It would have to be with someone like HBO. Or you somewhere. could film it in New York somewhere on some wild like um, building scape, some un- unfinished building where we just moved room to room, and who knows. Now the nice other thing. love, not enough we're getting before, is First Wives Club. First Wives Club. So you're in First Wives Club, and that was in Chicago. That was in Chicago right? with the amazing Carmen Cusack, who's now starring in Bright Star. Um, but we had them and Faith Prince, um, at, we, an incredible cast. But that was a dream role to play Sarah Jessica Parker's part from the movie, I remember. and she was just the goofiest, weirdest character. I was doing backflips over couches <laughs> and like teetering around the stage and pratfalls and just speaking in a very strange voice. And I have never laughed so hard in my life as I did in that show. Have you met SJP? Um, only from afar. I was at the Hamilton opening, okay. and she was five rows in front of me, and I. I just sort of tried to waft her, her energy toward me. Um, but she's great. She's a, a great fan. supporter of theatre. She so really she probably, is. She may she's well, fantastic. May, may well, well see her there. I hope well we do. Her, you know, American Psycho. I'm a huge fan. Yeah. So that's all good. Well, Morgan, thank you very much. For thank you so much for having me. This is amazing. Um, everybody, you have got to go and watch um, American Psycho on Broadway because it's amazing. Um, thank you very much. We'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank bye. you.